Bag fuel, baby. What's something that really, like, eats up a person's money from a low level, mid level, and high level as yourself? That's a great question. Um, low level? Yeah, just, like. I mean, just general expenses, man. Just like, obviously, like rent, like food, car payment, just getting by. When you get in that mid to high tier, what kills people is, is the debt, is the interest, which you gotta watch out for. The interest, what you mean? Let's, okay, so here's something that no one talks about. If you get a mortgage, 30 year mortgage at 8%, the first 10 years of that mortgage, 90% of the payments are going towards interest. You're not even paying, paying down the down mortgage. Principal. You're not even paying it down. But, but, but isn't that why they say, I found this out, instead yeah. of paying your mortgage once a month, they say pay it every two weeks type of thing. So you pay like half two weeks and then it knocks off like knocks seven off years. a little bit more, but they, like, don't, they don't tell you that. It knocks off, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you gotta learn it. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. But it knocks off seven years. So most people say, okay, because your month is really 30 days. Right. Yes. So sometimes you're gonna get paid twice. Some months you're gonna get paid three times. Right. But the main mob, but the main mindset of this is don't look at your mortgage as a monthly payment. You look at it as a bi-weekly bi payment every time you get paid. So if your mortgage is six thousand dollars for the month, if you get paid bi bi-weekly, you would want to pay that and then pay it. Pay the three thousand dollars again, right? And then pay the three thousand dollars again the next two weeks. Right. So technically, sometimes you're fitting in three payments, but you're paying it bi-weekly, and it knocks off seven years off your payments. So your thirty-year mortgage will now be twenty-three years just by paying it bi-weekly as you get your paycheck. But wouldn't it? Damn, he does have an eight ten credit score. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, a bar. but my thing is that, right. Bro? We, we've heard conflicting ideologies. Sure. Some people say it's better to have it, the house on credit, build up your credit, occur a little bit of debt, pay it off weekly by weekly. Whereas other people are like, if that's the case and it takes seven to eight years to get past the interest mm -hmm. to pay the principal, why not just knock off as much as you can or buy it outright, if possible? It, I mean, who, a lot of people don't have that luxury. I'll, yes. give you, I'll give you a third option though. This is how I've bought a few houses. And this is what people don't really talk about is, okay, so you obviously pre-COVID interest rates 3 4%, right? Yes. Now they're 7 8%. Mm -hmm. You go to buy a house, you can assume someone's mortgage. So let's say, because like, it's kind of hard to explain. I didn't get it. I yeah. didn't fully understand it until I did it myself with a transaction. Someone has a house. They want to sell it for $200,000. They have a mortgage in place for 3% that they got in 2010. When they sell the house, why give up that mortgage? Why not just assume the mortgage they have? and take over the payments. Mm -hmm. So instead of getting a new mortgage at 8%, which is the going rate, you, you take over- the old mortgage. If right. they bust, so how do you pay them? You, you just pay, pay them, you just give them you a You just pay a the payment. bank directly. The oh. bank doesn't care as long as they're getting their, their payments every, no, every month. Say, okay, so say I'm selling it. How am I getting my, my, my profit? I got you. So if you're selling it and, and you're selling for 200, let's say there's 150 on the mortgage. I just give you the 50,000 and take over the mortgage of 150. Mm. Okay. And then you just make the payments to the oh, so bank. I'm, so I am getting fifty grand yeah, up front. Yeah, so yeah, basically, yeah. instead of putting the down payment to the new, to the new mortgage, you're just, you're just not me, getting you're a new just mortgage. Giving me, you're just basically going to give me the down payment, right. and I'm gonna let you assume my my mortgage, and which is at three percent instead of instead eight percent. And remember, we just talked about it's that first ten years of just paying the interest. You just went, you just burned through that, so you're only paying down the principal. Sure, mm. but if you're Help me understand this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a, if, that's a lot of No, 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 it makes yeah. sense, actually. But if you're doing it that way, right. does that build up the previous person's credit or is it going to help you? That's a good question. It probably, it... You know we on point. Yeah, we got yeah, three yeah, good yeah, questions yeah. on the financial yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 No, no, because my, my, no, pops, right. my right. pops is more like him. Like yeah. with the money and understanding, he went through that. He worked for an insurance company. So this is what I would do, yes. bro. So it probably would report yeah. to the previous tenant. They would probably would report on their mortgage. This is what you can do, though. And this, is, this is what I do. Because I'm thinking of ideas now. <laughs> right. So you can actually, and, and I rent on the Bowery. I've been there for eight years. Yes. You can report all your rent. So you can just write a lease that you're leasing from the, from the seller and then put that on your credit. So although you're not getting the mortgage, you're at least getting the, 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 credit. the credit for renting every single month, even though, even though it's your mortgage Is that payment. legal? That's illegal. Okay. That's illegal.